Hello children. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to learn some questions and answers of the reading passage. After this activity, you will be able to understand how to comprehend a story by answering all the questions. Before that, be ready with your worksheet number 23, a pencil and an eraser. Topic, Courage. Activity number 1, 2 and 3. Children, let's move to activity number 1. Read and understand the passage on the story. Courage. Children, repeat each sentence after me. Tiffany Betts is a Canadian. She was 12 when the story happened. One night, she was sleeping in her room. When she woke up suddenly, she could smell smoke. When she switched on the light by her bed, smoke was pouring. Under the door of her bedroom. The house was on fire. Tiffany jumped out of the bed. And traveled out of the room. To the back door. She opened the door and breathed in the air. She was safe, but her father mother and four sisters were trapped inside the burning house. She ran back into the burning house. Courageously, Tiffany ran back into the burning house a second time. She cowered to her parents' bedroom. Inside, her father was lying on the floor. And her mother was trying to pull him to the door. Tiffany grabbed her father's arm. She and her mother pulled him out of the room to safety. Tiffany Betts became 
the youngest person to receive the star of courage a canadian medal for people who have acted very courageously Let's move to activity number 2. Choose the correct options. Tiffany Betts is a or an dash American Canadian or African. The correct answer is Canadian. Question number 2 Tiffany could smell dash perfume smoke or petrol The correct answer is smoke In the same way you have to continue with the remaining questions Let's move to activity number 3 Answer the following. How old was Tiffany when the incident took place? The correct answer is she was 12 years old. In the same way, you have to continue with the remaining questions. And your home play is to complete the activity number 2 and share it with your subject teacher thank you